I am a world and national champion baton twirler. When I was young, I competed at the highest level my sport had to offer. If baton were in the Olympics, I would have gone and competed there multiple times and possibly won medals. However, I was not born a world or a national champion baton twirler. Far from it, actually. In fact, when I began baton for the first two or three years, I was terrible at it. When I was six years old, I was deemed one with no potential. That's how bad I was. But something obviously shifted. How did I go from kid with no potential to a champion baton twirler in a relatively short amount of time. Now, a few years ago, I read this fascinating book called The Talent Code by Daniel Coyle. And it's one of those books I can never stop talking about because in this book, Coyle breaks down the fundamental science behind learning and improving skill. Basically, skill and talent are not something you're born with. Nobody comes out of the womb walking and talking and backflipping. These are all skills and tasks that we have acquired over repetition and time, which means that anybody can master any skill they want if they have the proper desire, patience, practice technique, and coaching. Now let's break this down science style. When you are learning new skills, you are basically programming your body, much like a computer, to repeat the same skill over and over again with greater and greater efficiency. And your nervous system is like this vast network of roadways and highways that electrical impulses travel along. Each neurological highway meets up with an axon. And the axon acts like a city, a hub for electrical action. And this axon is surrounded by an insulating material called myelin. And this is where skill is born. As you practice and repeat skills, the myelin surrounding this axon gets thicker and thicker. And the thicker this myelin sheath is, the more efficiently this axon is going to be able to send and receive information. Thus, talent is created. Now, it's one thing to understand the physiological chain reaction that learning creates. It's another thing to use this process efficiently. Which brings us to everyone's favorite part about learning new skills, practicing. More specifically, deliberate practicing. Now, deliberate practice is the idea that hard work, attention to detail, and mental struggle are what force the electrical impulses to grow that myelin sheath. In English, that means you need to make mistakes in order to get better. And the process goes something like this. Step one, you practice. Step two, you fuck up, you make mistakes. But you pay attention to those mistakes because in step three, you fix them. Step four, you repeat that whole process because that's what practice is. As I was reading this book, I was reflecting on my own life and training background. And baton is an extremely meticulous sport. It requires patience, persistence, and a hell of a lot of repetition. I think the reason that not very many people do it is because it's so damn hard. But I remember my coach Loren telling me at one point that practice doesn't make perfect, perfect practice makes perfect. And I admit at the time that I took this to mean you must be perfect in all moments. But I realize now that she was just enforcing this idea of deliberate practicing at a young age. But the good news is, because I know you're geeking out about this just as much as I am, is that we can go beyond deliberate practice and break this down even further. Now Coyle brings up the concept of chunking. Chunking is taking that neurological circuit and breaking it down piece by piece. Every task is performed slowly in its smallest progression possible. And as your comprehension of the skill evolves, you will gradually speed up over time. And when you combine chunking with deliberate practice, your mastery behind the skill you're trying to create will accelerate and the results can be astronomical. When I'm working with brand new freestyle staff students, regardless of what their history or what they think their skill level is, I will always start with that basic foundational skill, the basic flow. And I do this because every skill I will ever teach you is gonna come from that base. So that means the more we do it and the more we break it down, the more we're going to solidify that program in our brain through deliberate repetition. And speed is something that I never enforce. As I mentioned, speed develops over time. And many of my students have heard me say over and over again that if you can't do it slow, you cannot do it fast. 
But the amazing part is, is how quickly the students pick up that basic flow pattern effortlessly and mindlessly because they've taken the time to build that melanin and neurological pathways behind the skill. Which brings us to the importance of proper coaching. Acquiring a qualified coach can mean the difference between success and failure, regardless of the amount of effort you put in. Because if you spend years practicing a skill incorrectly, you're going to have a hell of a time correcting those contrary patterns you have essentially programmed into your body. But if you find a coach who is willing to patiently offer you highly specific and strategic feedback, there is no telling how far you could go with your skills. For myself, my coaches have been some of the most important people in my life because they have been there to share and witness the struggle I have taken on in improving my skills. And I know that I would not be at the level I'm at today without them. And I can only hope that I can fulfill that role for my students on their journey towards mastery. So if you have a dream to be a ninja, play the guitar, learn to paint, speak another language, or even compete at the Olympic Games, it's never too late to start that process. It's really only a matter of effort because all you need is a goal, patience, focused practice, and a great coach. Mastery, it's only a few thousand, more like million, reps away. And if you want to learn more, go get that book. It's called The Talent Code by Daniel Coyle. It's amazing. You won't regret it. And while you're here, why don't you subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest tutorials and videos. And if you want to learn more about the classes I'm teaching, head on over to my website, michellecsmith.com.